Hey, so you don't believe it, huh? Okay, cool. I think we need to review just how large the number of possible deck permutations really is. Because I feel like some of you may have slept through that lesson. As we already know, the number is 52 factorial, which is roughly equal to 8.07 times 10 to the 67. That number is massive. It's a, it's a huge number, but you're right. We do need to consider the large amounts of decks of cards that have been shuffled through history. So let's do that. If we look at the standard deck of 52 cards, the furthest back that people think they were invented is around the year 1500. So roughly 500 years. And just to be safe, so we don't have anyone thinking I'm underestimating the amount of cards, we're gonna say that since cards were invented, that every human currently on the planet has been shuffling a new deck of cards every second. For 500 years, 8 billion people shuffling a deck of cards every, day every second. Every man, woman, and baby. Well, that's a big number. You're right, it's not tiny. In fact, it's 1.26 times 10 to the 20 decks of cards. It's actually 100 million trillion decks of cards. Yeah, big. But how does that number compare to the total number of permutations that a deck of cards can be in? Well, it turns out that the total number of possibilities is actually 6.4 times 10 to the 47 times bigger than all the shuffled decks. But how different is that? I mean, how can we picture that? I think I found a way this past week while y'all were enjoying my other video. Well, some of you weren't. The who cares guy comes to mind. Okay, imagine with me a very large sphere in space with the sun, with our sun at the center of it. And the outer surface of that sphere is 2.1 trillion meters from the sun, which would take us right between Saturn and Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. Now take that massive sphere in space and fill it with sand. A massive celestial hamster ball filled with sand. Now if all that sand represents all the possible different permutations that a deck of cards can be in, then all the shuffle decks in history that we talked about earlier, that can be represented by, wait for it, one grain of sand. Yeah. Try wrapping your noggin around that little juicy tidbit. But don't be coming up in my house saying, oh, the casino's this, the casino's that. There's thousands. What if every person on earth, blah, blah, blah. We just did it. I just proved that, okay? So you can take your birthday paradox and you can shove that shit right up Uranus or like halfway between Saturn and Uranus. <laughs> Bye.